hear from him uh, answering these questions. Uh, I call Mark Patterson. Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. It is an absolute pleasure to stand up on behalf of New Zealand First to speak on part two of this employment relations bill. And just in the nick of time, too, because it is time for the voice of reason, right. uh, which New Zealand First obviously have been. After that, a motive, a motive contribution from the member for Clutha Southland uh, on this particular. Uh, contribution, and uh, I might say he has some previous on this. He's uh, out scaring farmers as well, which is uh, unfortunate. Um, I had the pleasure of sitting on the select committee uh, in, on this bill, the Employment, uh, Education and Employment Relations Select Committee, and what a fascinating uh, process it was. Uh, and we heard both sides uh, very clearly come through. Uh, we heard uh, from the uh, unions and the uh, the employees and uh, workers groups who, who did outline uh, some power imbalances and the fact that they had been uh, disadvantaged by those power imbalances and, and the, the, the gap between uh, those at the top and those in the bottom in New Zealand uh, has been growing and that's something that this government is absolutely committed uh, to addressing. Uh, but on the same token, we also heard the employers uh, they came in uh, with uh, their version of events and we listened. And I think this was the, 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 this was the select committee process absolutely working as it should. You get various views come in, you boil down the, the arguments and you come out uh, with what I think in this case the New Zealand First certainly thinks is a very good uh, uh, outcome for all concerned. Um, and I, I certainly... Uh, also one of the, uh, the mates of the National Party, uh, Business New Zealand, Kirk Hope, I would actually quote him. Uh, Kirk Hope said, changes resulted, I modestly say, from New Zealand First, influence in changing the bill, uh, and business would be grateful for its input in striking a better balance between employers and workers. So um, I think when you've got the likes of Kirk Hope and Business New Zealand coming out, and, and whilst he credited uh, New Zealand first for those outcomes. It's actually the coalition working as it should. Uh, and this is uh, where we saw it. And, and we saw that with the Mechas. Uh, we saw it with the uh, Union Act clarifying those Union Access issues. But on the 90-day trial, uh, which uh, we took a keen interest in early on, we do uh, note that the uh, Motu report and the, the evidence is pretty ambiguous. There's not really any... Uh, one way or the other that the 90-day trials have uh, had uh, an effect on uh, employment. But anecdotally, and just our gut feel as, uh, as, uh, as, as champions of the regions, and many of those small businesses are in the regions, that those businesses under 20 uh, employees were, uh, that don't have the access to uh, HR departments uh, could benefit from this, and it would give people that have been marginalised in society the chance for a start in a business and the dignity of work. And that, that actually uh, accounts for something like 97%, I think, of businesses are small and medium enterprises under 20 employees. So that's, uh, um, I think that's a win uh, for those businesses. It's a, a pragmatic step. But then those bigger businesses, the ones over... Uh, 20 employees, they should have, they've, they've certainly shown a competence in building their business to quite a scale, they should have the ability uh, to be able to handle their uh, HR and they should be, have the ability to marshal their, uh, their new employees through into uh, a solid uh, employment. So we felt we uh, struck a pretty good balance there. Uh, the rest bakes, smoko as we used to call it in the old days and, and the previous contributor once again was trying to put some scare tactics in. Basically, we're just returning the law to what it was previous, uh, I'm not sure what the year is, but certainly under the previous Labor government, this was a, uh, a provision in the law. The world did not collapse. And I think uh, in the days when we're looking at things like mental health, etc., we need workers to have the ability to have a break. And by the vast majority, this will be through negotiation, uh, considerate of, of the, the nature of work. Uh, that, that is just the way that it will, will happen. And, and on the odd chance that uh, they can't come to an agreement, then there will be an, an ability uh, for workers to have their smoke out. And I think uh, that's a fair go for Kiwis and New Zealand First 
certainly support that. Thank you. Madam Chair. I call the Honourable Ian Lees Gallery. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, members have uh, raised questions about the